Harley Quinn has come a long way since her debut in Batman the Animated Series back in 1992 in the episode Joker's Favor. She has become one of the most well-known characters for people only lightly acquainted with comic book lore, and has been adapted many times over, in movies and now her own animated series at the time of this recording. While she may have started off as the Joker's henchwench and girlfriend, she has gone on to have many other love interests. We will be exploring 10 of them today here on Top 10 Nerd. I'm Sasha, and these are the Top 10 Harley Quinn Love Interests. Let's get started. Number 10. Deadshot Many changes came over at DC when the New 52 era began in 2011-2012. A lot of things got darker, and that included Harley's relationship with the Joker, which was already pretty dark. However, the Harley initially presented in the New 52 is extremely unstable, homicidal, and devoted to the Joker who tortured her. However, the Joker would vanish for a time after cutting off his own face. Harley would find herself on the Suicide Squad, where she would take up with fellow team member Deadshot. And the relationship would be hot and heavy, and the two's madness seemingly complemented each other. You know, until she put the Joker's face on his face, and well, that was kind of a no-go. The relationship was much less quickly handled in the animated movie Batman Assault on Arkham. Number 9. Red Tool Since being brought into comics, Harley has pretty consistently had her own solo series, which has brought her more awareness amongst fans, which has led to her being featured in many different types of fandom, such as shipping. One big fan-favorite pairing for her is with Deadpool. It's known as Harley Pool. Many felt their types of zany just matched and that it would be fun. This was played with in DC canon with the introduction of Red Tool, who is basically Deadpool, or as close as we can get without someone having to be sued. Red Tool would be obsessed with Harley and absolutely devoted to her, while she was more lukewarm, but would use his affection to her advantage. The two would eventually develop a friendly relationship. He worked well enough, even if you weren't aware of where he sprung from, he could stand on his own. Number 8. Wonder Woman Harley's Little Black Book was a mini-series of small Harley adventures, snippets slash team-ups between her and other heroes, and there was a flirtatious element to most of these, which of course included her team-up with Wonder Woman. Harley is established in this tale as having a massive crush on her, as well as admiration for her. She even has like a little shrine. These feelings are not exactly reciprocated. Their team-up dynamic would be Harley being like, this looks like the start of a beautiful friendship, also I love you, with Wonder Woman being more like, thank you next, or no thank you. Over time, like many DC heroes, Wonder Woman has been shown to mellow towards Harley. Number 7. Lobo Harley's little black book strikes again, seeing her teaming up with the main man himself, Lobo. Harley is in no way put off by all the hyper macho too that Lobo's putting out there, and in fact the two's team up for the most part is pretty smooth, and he himself appreciates her more forward advances. Sometimes it's just nice to know where you stand. The two have a fling, or tryst, as many outlets insisted on calling it. It's never sad to hear old words. This one was a fun one and done, but did lead to some to have fan theories, like, is Harley the mother of Lobo's daughter? Ask 2019. Number 6. Rick Flag. Man, the Suicide Squad. Everybody hooking up. You've got to read the handbook. That's not good for the overall team dynamics. The rebirth era of Harley, and even the latter half of the New 52, saw the character mellowing and a tonal shift from the dark instability into a more fun, manic, pixie dream girl variety of instability. The rebirth era would see her hooking up with Rick Flag. Since leaving the Joker, Harley's promiscuity has become one of her defining traits. She's a flirt and seemingly interested in most people, and many of them are willing to reciprocate. Rick Flag's a bit more straight laced than her normal type, but variety is the spice of life. Wonder how Deadshot felt about that. Not because of her, because of Rick. Read the Ostrander run, I'm telling you. Number 5. Nightwing Age in comics is a funny thing. It vacillates, so even as Nightwing ages, many of the people around him don't, which is part of how you end up with a hookup like this. It's happened in comic pages, Grayson, where later Harley would even be able to identify him by kiss, because it's that distinct. However, a bigger and for some more controversial moment came with Batman Harley Quinn the animated movie, which saw Harley Quinn tying Nightwing down to a bed and having her way with him, which the movie is quick to indicate he's into, well, because certain areas are standing to attention. Okay, we still monetize? Okay, good. For some, this was an out of left field moment with questionable implications, for others, a bit of fun. For some, a new possibility of a pairing that hadn't been fully contemplated before. Number 4. Bruce Wayne Harley's actually been on a date with Bruce Wayne, also depending on how you play the Batman Telltale game, Flirtation City. Harley in the New 52 verse is attracted to Bruce Wayne, just here and there, such as little lines in movies, like in Birds of Prey where she names one of her hyenas after him. If that's not true love, I don't know what is. We get a full date in Harley Quinn Valentine's special number one, which for some fans was critical in cementing the fact that Harley doesn't know that Batman and Bruce Wayne are one and the same, which was a theory floating around with some. 
especially when she notes his jaw early on in Batman the Animated Series. Number three, Batman. Hey, if she doesn't know who he is, he counts as two separate people. Harley is drawn to the persona of the Bat as well. I mean, makes sense. She does tend to be drawn to danger and excitement. There's also something appealing about it to fans too. He's essentially the antithesis of the Joker, and I mean, the Joker's head would explode. Who would he be jealous of? Well, that's up to you. It's your choice. Harley and Batman have had a flirtation since the animated series. She kisses him twice in Harley's Holiday after he's particularly sweet to her. And Batman has a soft spot for her. Not quite a pity spot, but a bit of understanding. Since then, it's appeared in main canon, in Elseworlds, just everywhere. Bat Quinn. Some people wish it was a thing. Number two, the Joker. I know, the Joker at number two, the scandal. This is the love interest who started it all. Harley would literally not exist were it not for the Joker. He is her starting point. She has, of course, become firmly established and become nuanced, though some of that has been stripped back in favor of a more traditional power fantasy. This couple is iconic and dark and twisted, which doesn't have to be something to be afraid of or shy away from, though some do for fear of glamorization or romanticization. But something can be explored and not glorified, and really, no matter what you do, you can't control how someone is going to view something. At this point, Harley has moved on from her puddin', and he from her, but it was still an illuminating chapter in her character, and a strong, necessary one. Every character starts somewhere. Number one, Poison Ivy. Now, Poison Ivy and Harley's relationship has actually been hinted at for quite some time, but you know, the 90s, gotta keep some things subtext. I mean, who doesn't hang out with their friends without pants? That's what friendship is all about. Over time, these two's relationship would become more and more explicit, and also gain some cred with fans as being a less toxic one than her and the Joker, and B, also be more important for representation. It has gone through many phases. Marriage in alternate universes are on again off again in the main verse. Surprisingly thoughtful in her animated show, not because of anything particular, but just the overall comedic tone that show has. Sometimes it gets pretty deep. For some, this is their endgame couple, but with Harley on the prowl, that remains to be seen. So those were 10 Harley Quinn love interests. Were there any that I missed out on that you wish I'd mentioned? If so, let me know down below. I'm Sash, and thanks so much for watching Top 10 Nerd. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you never miss a vid.